Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Nocella, and by the end of this video, you should be able to use properties of similar shapes to solve for missing information of similar polygons. In this problem, we are asked to calculate the length of nr. So I am going to go ahead and use a variable, I'm going to call it x, for that length. And we are asked to solve for that missing length. If we go ahead and take a look at this example, we really have two triangles in this diagram. And I'm just going to redraw them over here. So we have triangle MPN and we have triangle MQR. Based on what we know about parallel lines and transversals, we know that these triangles are similar because they have two pairs of congruent angles. And so we learned previously that if two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then these triangles are similar. So I'm going to go ahead and mark our angles in our diagram based on what we know about parallel lines cut by a transversal, so that we have corresponding angles, and then we have that reflexive property for angle M. So if we go ahead and put in the values that we are given, 6, 9, MQ is the entire length from M to Q. So that would be 6 plus 4, which is 10. So MQ would be 10. And then MR is the entire length from M to R. So we have 9 plus X. So 9 plus X. So to solve this, we are going to do it just like we've done in all the other problems. We're going to set up a proportion. So we're going to match up our corresponding parts. So 6 over 10 is equal to 9 over 9 plus X. To solve our proportion, we will cross multiply. So we will have 90 is equal to 6 times the quantity 9 plus x. So remember, when we're multiplying 6 times this expression 9 plus x, we need to distribute the 6 into the parentheses. So what this becomes is 90 is equal to 54 plus 6x. Make some room for us. So if we subtract 54 from both sides, we will get that 36 is equal to 6x. Using inverse operations, divide both sides by 6. So we get that x is equal to 6. Nice work. Our question for you is, is there an easier way to solve this? Or if not easier, is there a shorter way to solve this? Let us know what you come up with.